everybody! How are you doing today? <laughs> My name is Jodie Lakin. I am doing very well, thank you. Today I have a very exciting haul for you. Um, let's just move this little guy out of the way. This was a gift that I got yesterday. Um, he's a very, very cute little character from Sumiko Garashi. And um, yeah, it was a gift. So I just had him on here today because I thought he looked adorable. Let's put him over there. So this is my 2022 dun, 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 Hobonichi order. And I have already like pre-opened it just to check that everything was inside. And I have to tell you something. I can't believe I did this. I cannot believe I did this. But I forgot to order the one thing that I went on the site for. So <laughs> I'm currently working in the Hobonichi Techo Avec. So it's the one that's half a year and half a year. It's actually over there, out of frame. Otherwise, I'd show you. Also, this is cute. It has a little quote here in Japanese and in English, which I think is really nice. Yes, yeah, so I forgot to order my Avec. <laughs> I can't believe it's the one thing that I'm currently working in. Um, it's my favourite thing. And I got so excited by the new products that I forgot to order my, you know, the classic. Um, so I'm very upset at myself. But anyway, this has got a little bit of dust on it because... Um, I already took it out and put it on the floor, which I shouldn't have done. Um, but anyway, here's everything inside. So excited. You can see everything. There's a little reflection from the camera. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it all out of the box and put it in front of the camera. So let's just do that for a second. Because this table is not the biggest table. I'm just going to roll my sleeves up as well. This table's not the biggest table, so... Let's just do that. I hope this isn't too loud for you. Okay, so here is everything out of the box. And I think I'm going to start with these little journals on top. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um... As I said, I do have the Hobonichi Avec, which is the daily journal. But this year, I really wanted to try the weekly journal as well. So I wanted to try both. Um, so I really wanted the weekly journal for my everyday job. And I kind of wanted the daily journal as a more of a diary and things that I can stick in there. Sorry, this is going to be a bit loud. Ooh. <laughs> so when I saw this design, I don't remember seeing it last year. This is very exciting. I don't remember seeing it last year, but this design, wow, look, it comes with like protective film. That's very cool. Um, yeah, this design is based on Japanese masks and I see these all the time here in Japan and I thought this would be kind of perfect as it's my last year in Japan which is very sad to say but I really really love this design and I love the pink colour as well um, these faces I actually have as fridge magnets on my fridge um, <laughs> so I think they're very appropriate it has this kind of stripy fabric which makes my eyes go a little bit funny but it also looks like the faces are like three-dimensional so I hope you can see that okay and then as you open it up it has this oh very very nice um, and it says hobo everywhere <laughs> and the paper is just beautiful oh wow I didn't know there was so many note papers in the back so yeah, this is the weekly journal. And then it also has the monthly spread in the front as well, which is great. So I'm gonna use this for more of my personal things and my actual day job. And then, so you probably won't actually see this one very much on camera. Um, and then this little thing here, you actually stick in the bottom corner. 
and it's so you can put any extra pieces of paper or things that you need in the back. Um, so what I bought for this was this notebook. So these came in a set of three. So loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the sticky on these is so good, it's so, so sticky. Oops. So these came in a set of three and they're very, very thin notebook papers. Um, I think they are all square. Yeah, they're all square. And what you can do with this is once you've stuck this in here, you can actually slide one of these notebooks into here. And as you can see, it just fits perfectly in the back there. So if you want any extra notebook paper or somewhere to jot down lists and things like that, it's a good place to put that. But I actually didn't realize that we had all this notebook paper in the back. Um, there's quite a lot actually in the back. So I probably didn't even need this, but um, I think it's good as well for any Japanese words um, or any anything that I want to jot down. I'll put it in here, I think, so I can learn some Japanese on the go. <laughs> But I really like that, it's really sweet. And they came in three three colours, red, brown and blue. Maybe the blue or, I don't know which colour goes best, but there we go. Um, and it also came with this little notebook booklet, which kind of shows you, <laughs> that's very sweet. Have a nyanderful year, so nyan is the noise that cats make in Japan. They don't say meow meow, they say nyan nyan. So it says have a nyanderful year, <laughs> which is obviously they're trying to say wonderful year. That's very sweet, I like that a lot. <laughs> and then it's a little bit of information about the books themselves. That's a really nice extra little thing. So that'll be nice to keep. So the other thing I got for this um, is a clear plastic cover. I wasn't sure if I would like this yet, so I thought I would just buy one for now and then if I really liked it, sorry it's so loud, so then if I liked it I could buy another one for my other journal. Um, so I'm guessing this bit goes at the front here. Oop, it's a bit tight, there we go. I also love that I'm setting this up now and it's only September. <laughs> so they had the, um, I'm not gonna put that in right now, I just wanna see what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's nice, I like that actually. I wasn't sure if I like it, but I actually quite like it. It gives it like this nice smooth finish and it would stop it getting dirty too. So in the back there was um, a pen holder and that was something I liked that it had this pen holder. So um, so yeah, I kind of wanted the pen holder but I really like that, it's really nice. And as well, I could put the, um, the notebook. I could also put it in here. Yeah, I like that, it's nice, okay. So that will be my journal for next year and I'm very happy to tell you that my husband also wanted one this year, which was so exciting for me as you can imagine. I'm just going to open this and if it's too loud I'll cut it out because I don't want it to hurt any ears. So cute. So this is going to be my husband's diary for this next coming year. So this is the design which is designed after the game Mother. Um, I think it had a different name for like Western countries. I actually forgot the name of it. Um, but it wasn't called Mother in in uh, the UK, it had a different name. But it's this really cool game design, um, and it's night and day. 
and on the front you have like the little characters um but i really liked this i thought it was really cool and again it's exactly the same on the inside and you also have the little pocket that comes with it which you don't have to stick on by the way because it's loose you can if you don't like that you don't have to have it and this particular design came with this cute little mirror it's so cute I won't show you the actual mirror because that might be a bit reflective but um, yeah it has the one of the main characters on the front and it comes with this cute little mirror so he could always actually put that in the back too if he wanted to like he could put it in here that would be quite sweet but I thought that was a nice little extra and it also comes with the same little book um, so because at the moment they have a special a freebie with these two things they actually gave these two pens which came free with these two journals so I already have one of these pens from last year and I really really like it it was this um, this one for last year so it says 2021 on it and it was the 20th anniversary as well um, and I love this navy colour as well, but this one is so cute. I really like it. And the way the pen writes is really nice. So it's by Uni, um, which I already like their pens anyway. They're some of my favourite ones. Um, so we can open this one, but isn't this mint colour really nice? open this one yeah I just love this mint color it's really pretty um, and it says Hobonichi Techo 2022 it's really soft as always and it's the same as this one the blue red and black but I just think that's a really nice extra thing that they do is give you a free pen. And you can buy refills for these ones too. If you do really like this pen, you can get the refills, which is great too. So that was last year's and this is this year's. So then I got some extras this year. <laughs> so let's look through these. So first of all, I got the two notebooks. This one, oh, it's very soft. This one is the size of the Hobonichi Cousin. It's exactly the same size. So I think you could probably fit this in the case if you wanted um, a journal cover for this one. And if I just open it up. So it does have different colored squares going throughout. Like it changes from blue to red to green. I don't know if you can tell that. Um, and the paper is very thin as well. So it's really nice, but I thought I could use this as a little sketchbook or something like that. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I like it a lot. And I like that it has this almost hard, well, it is like a hard cover. So I like that. And then this is the A6 size, which is the same size as the Hobonichi Techo. So, so those are really sweet. Whoops. So I look forward to using those. Um, I'll just leave those there. And then I also got a few other goodies. So this is like a puzzle book. And I was honestly just a little bit intrigued by it. Um, I loved the design on the front. <laughs> this little pig that's like, I don't even know what he's doing. Is he like popping bubble wrap, bubble wrap or something? But this is supposed to be like a little book that you keep maybe in the back of your journal. Like I think it's a little smaller so it would fit nicely in the back of the, um, the A6 size journal. And you're just supposed to be able to get it out if you want to do any of the puzzles. Now some of them might be a little difficult for me because they're in Japanese. Um, <laughs> like this crossword puzzle would probably take me quite some time um but I, I actually really wanted to have a go at some of these things like in Japanese I've always been curious about 
doing crosswords and doing um what what's this one called like a word search in Japanese so <laughs> so it's gonna be really fun I think if I'm like sitting somewhere in a waiting room or something like that um just to have a look through all these little little puzzles some sudoku as well which is always fun oh it has the uh has the answers in the back so yeah it's just tiny it's really thin um but i really liked the design overall and i just thought it'd be something like to keep as a nice memory as well and then i also got so loud i'm so sorry <laughs> I also got a little 2022 railway map and wow I wasn't expecting this to be so shiny but it's actually really nice so I just got this out of pure interest and also for my memories um, because I can see some of the places I've been and some of the place like where I live and I just wanted to keep it for my memories really and you could get this in three different sizes so I got it in the smallest size possible so it would actually fit in my weekly journal if I wanted it to and then I just had to get something Animal Crossing themed because I just really love Animal Crossing I haven't played it for quite a while actually um, but it's really nice memory for me because it came out while I was here so this is just a little pencil board. I actually have a pencil board that I use in my five year journal and I use it every single day and I absolutely love it and it's um, it definitely helps with it not going through to the next page depending how hard you write. But, um, but I really, really love this one and it has some of my favorite characters on too. So it's just really cute and it's very like thin too, so it won't take up much room in the journal. And it has this ruler down the side too, which is really useful. So this is gonna be for my um, my A6 Avec, which will be this size, which you would have been able to see if I actually bought it. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to buy the thing, the one thing that I wanted it for, which is hilarious. Um, and then I also got these two pencil boards for the um, the weekly journal as well. So I have one that I use a lot in my traveler's notebook, but the traveler's notebook size is a little bit bigger than this. So I wanted one that was a little smaller so it fit nicely in the journal. Um, so I got the orange one to go with the um, the my husband's journal that I bought for him and I got the navy and pink one to go with this which I think goes really nicely actually because it's got navy and pink on it as well so yeah that will just slide in like that and it will help you when you're writing on the page it won't go through to the other page it shouldn't do anyway because that's what the paper's sort of made for but it stops it indenting on the other page which is what I like um, and then the other thing which is kind of cool, it, it sticks out the top and says today, which I think is really nice, so you, you'll never get lost in there. But I use the one um, in my five year every day, so it's been very useful for me. So that's why I got a couple of pencil boards. Also, all the kids use them here in Japan and the adults, but all the kids have them at school. Um, so it's just something that reminds me of Japan too. <laughs> So another thing I got was this Hobonichi stamp. Um, it actually is in the shape of the journal and they had like a couple of options. You can see. So they had a couple of options. Um, this one and they also had the book closed but honestly this reminds me the most of my Hobonichi because it's always open like that. Um, but I thought you could write inside it like the year or the date or something like that or some memory or something if you wanted to um and it's a really really nice quality stamp i'm not really sure why there is so much wood in between here and here like often i see stamps that are really small um so i'm a bit confused as to why there needs to be this much wood between it if anyone knows anything about stamps i would be so intrigued to know why that why that is the case is it just for comfort or 
I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Because the stamp itself is so small. Like, why does it need to have this much wood between it? it doesn't, you don't stamp like this, do you? Well, maybe you do. I don't know. But I would think you could hold it comfortably if it was, like, this small too. I don't know. Let me know if you know. <laughs> I'm curious. Um, and then to go with that, I also got these pastel coloured... Um, uh, what are they called? Inks, like stamps. Because I bought some pastel colours before from Daiso and they really didn't show up very well at all. Um, and they actually got dirty very quickly. Uh, they just absorbed the other colours as well, which just wasn't great. So this is a very like popular brand in Japan um, and they they were only like 100 yen more, I think, if I bought them on the website and I had I didn't see these ones on Amazon the Versa magic ones I didn't see those on the website so uh, sorry on Amazon so I bought them from Hobonichi um but yeah they're like little ink pads they're in pick the colors pixie dust spring pansy sea breeze and aloe vera which I think is lovely and I kind of really like the shape of them too like good travel size ones um so yeah and then I also got this stamp which I'm very excited to try whoops um it's called the handy stamp and it has all the letters of the alphabet multiple times it has many many options um let's see if I can take it out to show you so it's very small which I like it's very compact I have absolutely no idea how this works um Oh, you pull it out. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. So this is the stamp pad here. I hope you can see this okay. This is the stamp pad which has the ink on it. And then when you do this, it like, it actually stamps it and then you can push it out. And then this is how you like stamp like that. So these letters, oh, there's instructions underneath. That's great. So these letters you can take off with the little tweezers here and place them onto here. And you can pretty much write anything you want to. I really like that. I wasn't sure if I would like it. Um, is that the right way? There we go. I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I think I'm going to really enjoy using that, especially for dates or like birthdays or things I need to remember. Also this one here is blue but they didn't have a blue option, they only had the red I believe. So then here is all the options for the letters. Many different options and down here I like too, it has like like www dot and then dot com and email and mobile and it also has fax which I know people, a lot of people would think Oh, we don't use fax anymore. Why does it why do you need the fax there? But actually they still use fax machines in Japan all the time in every office. It's very common. So, if you're thinking why did they put fax on there? They use it every day here in Japan. So, that was one of the things that surprised me <laughs> when I lived here. I was like, "Oh my gosh, they still use fax machines." Um, so there we go. I really like that and it is really tiny and compact too so you could definitely travel with that and it wouldn't be a problem. So I got this little plastic folder for my current Hobonichi. I'm not the biggest fan of the plastic folders like I said but um, I just thought maybe it would protect it a little bit more if it's in my bag. Um, maybe if I come on camera with it I can take the plastic off. Okay so this is the current journal that I'm working in and I got this little journal cover from a bookstore it's actually a book cover and they use these on the trains and things so you can cover the book that you're reading for a bit of privacy and it came with this very adorable little book mark that you can hide in the little pocket there which I just thought was so so cute but on the front I personalised it with some patches and I noticed that the patches are getting a little scruffed up in my bag. So I thought I would buy this cover and see if 
it would actually fit like I'm not sure if it would but let's test it out see it's going to be a little bit big because this is supposed to go over the Hobonichi covers and obviously mine is not that um let me just do it like that yeah I don't think I like that <laughs> I think it's a little, little big and I just don't like the way it looks but I'll probably still keep it in there to keep it in my bag but as you can see it's a little bit big for this cover. Um, I could definitely use it on something else like another book that I have or something if I really wasn't set on it but it is going to protect the patches which is good um, but yeah it's not quite the right size because like I said, this cover is not a Hobonichi cover. If I had a Hobonichi cover on it, um, then it would probably fill this plastic cover perfectly fine. So, I mean, I imagine so anyway, that's what it's made for. Um, but I might still keep it on just so that when it's in my bag, it doesn't get damaged. And I really don't know what this is for. I guess you can just put little photos and things in there and then seal it up, I guess. But yeah, there we go. And then the very last thing I got was these stickers, <laughs> which are so sweet. Um, so these are by a Japanese children's illustrator. And I think this illustrator had also done some covers this year. Um, but one of the things uh, he'd done, he or she, is it a he? I think it's a he. Um, is the little stickers <laughs> they come in this very sweet little matchbox and they're almost like daily life stickers i think there we go so that's a little close-up of some of the stickers um i can't remember how many is in here um but they're very cute and i can keep them in this adorable little box like that it's like a little match box <laughs> so that is the end of the video this is everything I have purchased from the Hobonichi store this year I will just be going back on this afternoon because I forgot to order the classic Hobonichi Techo book. I still can't believe I did that. I must have just been so excited about the new journals that I completely forgot about. My old faithful journal that I've been using this entire past year. Um, this is my second year using Hobonichi and um, I really enjoyed, um, really, really enjoyed using them in the first year last year. So yes that's gonna be it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it um let me know what you've purchased if you've purchased anything yet or what you're interested in purchasing from the hobonichi store it's always very exciting for me <laughs> um, anything to do with stationery so so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you again next sunday with a brand new video take care everybody bye